Alright, welcome back to my Let's Play of the Excavation of Hobbs Barrow, where we left off. Uh, we're trying to get into the Hobbs Barrow. We gotta convince that one guy. I think I have to go talk to Shoulder. He, Shoulder is a person, by the by. And also we need to get some hair for this lovely fiddle bow. That's, that's what it is. <laughs> so I tried the goat's hair. It doesn't work. I believe we're gonna have to find a horse. Maybe we need to use legendary Herbert hair. Maybe that's what we need to do. Uh, I think I've already talked to him. Pretty confident. Um, so we just need to go bug Leonard. And I think he said he was at the bar. Uh, bar's this way. Did I? I think I've explored everywhere. Let me quickly check the church here. No. Nothing. Nada. Alright, then... I think we tried here. No dice. It's locked. Yeah. I'm gonna say the priest is long gone. And the cake's are long gone. Brings a tear to my eye. I just want some cake. Um, She's still setting up. Um, I'm gonna check if there's anything here. Of course not. This guy has pieced out. Like I said, he's done with the plot, so he's gone forever. Uh, <laughs> just a guess. Actually, I wonder. Ha! I knew it! I needed horse hair, and what magically appears? A horse! A horse! <laughs> ah, hello, horsey. Can we pet the horse? Fine specimen. She's well looked after. If you pet the horse and not Herbert, I'm gonna be so mad at you, Thomasia. Let's see. Hmm. Horse hair would make fine bowstring. <laughs> she almost took my head off. Well, yeah, you just kind of approached her like right from the butt. There was no like gentle approach or cautious approach. You just went for it, like. You need to be all gentle and slow and pet from, pet their face and then move down and then rub their butts and then grab their tail. <laughs> I may have not had, you know, dealt with horses when I was younger. Anywho, let's awkwardly stare at the bucket. That's not mine to take. The horse has been provided with some drinking water. Okay. Uh, I saw something. Hitching post. The post has been embellished with a fine bronze bust of a horse. I could tether her. Okay. I don't wish to lose an eye. Oh, you want to lose an eye. I'll have to gain her trust. Oh, so you're implying we need to feed the horse. Or comb it. Well, we don't have any sugar cook- like sugar. Or carrots. Or sugar cookies. Or alfalfa cubes. Can we pet the Herbert while we're here? I don't wish to wake him up. It's Herbert, the local stray. Of course not. Of course we can't pet Herbert. I will pet him again, though. Perfect. Okay, so I guess we need to go into the bar and talk to people, get what we need for the horse and all that fun stuff. Hello, Leonard Shoulder. You do exist. There's some other dude here. There's a man here. Hello, man. I'm assuming I have to talk to you, and I'm assuming you're the owner of the horse, man. He appears to be lost in deep thought. Well, let's talk to him first. Hello there. Yes. Okay. Oh, yeah, horse. Yep, from the top. My name is Thomasina. What's yours? Ted. Ted Cross. Pleased to meet you. Likewise. Are you a local, Mr. Cross? Oh, no. I'm just passing through. I'm a musician. Just myself, me guitar, and me horse. Are you a traveling musician? Aye. I've been playing a new song tonight. I've just finished the lyrics. What's it about? You'll have to come listen. Is that your horse stationed in the alley? Aye. Thistle Crack is her name. That's an unusual name for a horse. Aye, it was what she were called when I bought her. Glutton would be a better name. She likes her treats. But it feels wrong to change it. Really? You say she likes her treats? What a quinky dink. What do you make of Bewley? Can't say that I know much about this place. I don't usually travel this far south. I see. Have you heard of a place called Hobbs Barrow? Can't say I have, miss. What is it? Never mind. 
Thank you for your time. Make sure you watch my performance later, won't you? I'll try. Yes, we will watch your performance and hopefully it is grand and epic as the one in Brooklyn Nine-Nine. Jake and the guitar. I enjoyed that scene. <laughs> Once in a while I may, I may sing the song of Ah! Anywho, I guess we'll talk to camp, see if we can get some treats. If not, we're going to have to raid like a farm or something to get some carrots. Anywho. You found old Leonard, I see. Yes, finally. No, oh, that's it? Okay. Does the name Saxnot mean anything to you? No, I can't say it does. Hmm. Goodbye. See you soon. All right, let's talk to Shoulder. Hello again, Mr. Shoulder. Miss Bearman. Oh my goodness, from the top. I've still not been able to gain permission to excavate from Mr. Bryden. Is that so? Perhaps you could show him something that might change his mind. Okay. Oh, I wonder if I have to show him the stone with the chicken on it. Oh, maybe that's it. Hmm. I've still not been able to gain permission to excavate. Is that perhaps you could Okay, that's the same thing. Okay, excluding that from the so-called top. What else can you tell me about this sax knot? Try not to worry yourself too much with these old stories. Leave those to the locals, Miss Bateman. Have others spoken of goblins appearing in their dreams? A dream is a dream, that is all. They merely make for good stories. I know, I know. But to answer your question, no, not to my knowledge. Tell me about yourself, Mr. Shoulder. I'm sure the locals have filled you in already, lass. You cut quite the mysterious figure. Most had little to say. It's true, I do tend to keep me head down. When one gets to my age, one grows very comfortable in one's home. I like the isolation of the moor. I wouldn't change it for anything. I take it you don't get many visitors? Oh, no. Nobody bothers me. That's the perk of living so far out, huh? Just me and me hens. I used to come into Bewley more often, back before me health went to buggery. What do you think of Bewley? Whilst one could consider the villagers to be rather... Unenlightened, this place has its charm. The market's in town today. You can see that folk want for now, dear. Oh. Oh. So I had to get treats from the market. What a quinky dink. Oh my goodness. This day is full of quinky dinks. Uh. That one. Is there anything else I should know about Hobbs Barrow, Mr. Shoulder? No, lass. I'm certain we will know a lot more about it by this time tomorrow. I hope so. It's almost like he's on a schedule of like, we have to be in Hobbs Barrow tomorrow at noon. Maybe. Town's a cult. Anywho. What else can you tell me about the previous excavation? I think I covered it earlier, Miss Bateman. As you yourself said, it were a time of superstitious hysteria. What was it like, living in that period of hysteria? I kept to myself. Didn't really affect me. My hens stayed healthy and their eggs kept me well fed. If one can keep a level head in such situations, one can get by. Indeed. Is there anything else I should be aware of before my own excavation? No other ghouls I should be worried about? Ah, you know the answer to that. The corruption in that soil were all in the minds of men. What do you make of Lord Panswick? His lordship is an important man in Bewley, as I'm sure you have gathered. His family has commanded much respect here for many generations. Do you respect him as a leader? I do. He wants the best for the village. Without his influence, the railway line would have never come through here. Does he want more visitors? Aye, I believe so. He has great ambitions for Bewley and wants to share them with the world. What do you make of Mildred Walker? Who? I believe she's also known as Mother Mildred. Oh, we used to get about when we were children. Our paths have not crossed in a long while. What do you think of Charles Bryden? He is a decent man. It must have been hard for him after that terrible business with his brother. Without a doubt. 
I must say I had assumed you had at least spoken to him about my visit. Sorry, lass. I had no intention of giving you the runaround. Again, I can only apologize. If you don't mind me asking, what is the nature of your ongoing illness? Oh, just the ravages of age. Getting off this bench will be a small battle in itself. Something you won't need to worry about for many a year, Miss Bateman. Growing old is a blessing and a curse. And what of your recent fever? An ordeal, it were. So much tossing and turning. But I'm right as rain now, especially after a mug of ale. But don't worry about me. What are Lord Panswick's plans for Bewley? He's rebuilding an old chapel on his estate. He seeks to bring God back to these lands. But what of St. Edmunds? I think Father Roach might argue God has never left. Indeed. Let's leave such arguments to them, shall we? All right. Thank you for your time. Bye, Miss Bateman. So as soon as we'll I speak more later. So as soon as I leave the door, the market will be open, guaranteed. Let's find out. Oh, no, it's not. Oh, snap. Welp. I guess not. Uh, can I talk to you? Good day. I'm still setting up. Oh, I'm sorry. I guess she's still setting up. Okay, so what now? I guess talk to people, look around, stare at things awkwardly. Let's go. Good day. Hey, oh. No, there we go. We got we got more points Up on the top. I met a girl at the Devil's Toe. She gave me this broken fiddle bow. Ah. Well, you've experienced the local folklore firsthand, then, lass. Hmm. Does the name Saxnot mean anything to you? Never heard of it. What is it? Hmm. Never mind. Thanks for your time. Aye. Speak to you later. Okay. Let's see who else we can talk to and poke and all that fun stuff. Oh, right. I was supposed to show the journal to, um... Uh, the lady in the forest. Let's go. Cause I, I think I, I think I was supposed to, unless the game kind of did that for us. Um. Oh. It's a Benjamin. I think that's our subtle hint for the resin, but we already got that. Um. Okay. But it's a Benjamin. All right. You. Uh. Ba 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 ba. I've already shown her that. Oh, okay. Well, never mind. I guess we'll talk to her. See what other points I can cover. Hello again. Yes? Goblin. There we go. Mr. Shoulder told me about a folk tale associated with Hobbs Barrow. It tells of Saxnot, a goblin. Are you familiar with it? No doubt there is such a tale. Name any beastie you can think of, and someone round here will have a story about it. My thoughts precisely. Farewell. Okay. Well, that was productive. Um, okay, so the other thing we can try to do is show the stone to... The, the, what's his pickle? The guy has who has, you know, the land that Hobbs Sparrow is on. Uh, the other thing we can talk to... Lord Panswick, who's maybe painting his picture still. Oh yeah, he still is. Look at him go. Yep, painting your picture. You go. Good day, James. My dear. Oh, painting. Wonder if we can see it now. How is your painting coming along? Quite well. But it needs more work. I'm aching to show you, but I must restrain myself. Goodbye. See you soon, my dear. Okay. Uh, I guess we'll go over here. Oh, uh, what a quinky dink. Kind of where I wanted to go. Let's check the church. See if anybody's there. Nope. No one at all. Alright, let's go... Oh, uh, we'll go up north. Up north again. Hello, sir. Uh, let's throw the stone at you. Hiya! What do you make of this stone, Mr. Bryden? It was strapped to my father's journal. Wait a minute. 
Let me see that. By God. Wait here a moment. I need to get something from inside. I waited for what felt like an age. I now realize that Mr. Bryden must have been in a great debate with himself, wondering whether or not to share his own piece of the mystery with me. The goat stared at me, seemingly in pity, as I stood there in that rolling fog. Finally, Mr. Bryden emerged. Now then, as far as I know, what I have here is the only thing that Samuel brought back from Barra. Take a look. Oh! Oh, it's a snake. Oh. Incredible. A pear. That's been in my drawer ever since Samuel passed. I suppose it might be important, so I kept it safe. Fate is clearly playing a part in your arrival, lass. Please, Mr. Bryden, allow me to excavate Hobbs Barrow, a place that is no more than dirt and stone. <sighs> You're not going to give up, are you, lass? I'm not. Samuel managed to say one thing about those men that helped him. I think it's time I tell you. Yes? He stuttered out that one of those fellows could barely walk after they got out of there. Tongue-tied two of the men were. My father. You what? My father. He had an accident around 25 years ago that left him bedbound and unable to talk. Aye. Could be him. My mother told me it happened in a horse riding accident. Samuel boarded up that barra for a reason. Something unnatural occurred, I know it. Mr. Bryden, we must rely on our rational faculties to explain any... Promise me you'll be careful. Any sign of trouble, leave without hesitation and we board that accursed place up again. Understood? Wait, you're giving me permission to excavate? <sighs> Aye, against me better judgment. I don't have the energy to stop you, lass. Thank you so much. I am grateful. Don't make me regret my decision. Take Samuel's stone. Are you sure? Hi. Give it back to me when you're finished, though. I promise. Thank you. I'll be sure to show you my discoveries, Mr. Bryden. I'd rather you don't. Now then, I've got things to get on with. I don't suppose you can spare any labor to help me with the dig? Don't push your luck, lass. Market's on today. Plenty of able-bodied men about. Ta-ra now. And like that, I finally had permission to excavate Hobbs Barrow. As exciting as that was, I was distracted by what Mr. Bryden said of his brother's associate. There was no doubt in my mind that father was the stricken man he spoke of. You told me he was crippled after coming off his horse. Why did you lie to me? To protect me, to stop me from following in his footsteps. You failed. And so did Charles Bryden. He should have said no. He should have never given me that stone. Okay. Ah, oh, well that that that's all like plus nine red flags to our red red flag pile. I don't know what the we're at count wise, but I feel like it's a lot of red flags. So he mentioned the market's open, which obviously we gotta go to the market. So let's just beeline it to the market. Because apparently we need some help and a lot of treats for the horse. But we're we're knocking things down one tick at a time. Ah, oh, no cakes. Ah, oh, so sad. Oh hey, what a quinky dink. The market is open. Oh my goodness. Let's start from the left and work our way to the right. Let's go. Good day. Hey up. On the top. What do you make of these stones? Don't look like out to me. Thanks for your time. Hi. Speak to you later. Let's talk to you. Hello, Miss Tompkins. Hello. We weren't introduced earlier. My name is Thomasina. Mom. All right from the top. How do you fare, Miss Tompkins? I'm waiting for Mr. Ambrose. Have you seen him? Who's that? The milkman. Ms. Fenchurch will be ever so cross if I've no milk for his lordship. I'm afraid I haven't seen him. You are in the employ of Lord Panswick? Aye. He employs half a Beaulieu in one way or another. I'm in need of some help for my excavation. 
Do you think his lordship could lend me some of his laborers? Maybe. Might you introduce me to him? Sorry, ma'am, but his lordship doesn't take visitors. Any road, I must wait here for Mr. Ambrose. Ms. Fenchurch will be ever so cross if I've no milk for his lordship. If Mr. Ambrose doesn't turn up and I find you some milk, would you be able to introduce me to Lord Panswick? Hmm. His lordship really doesn't like visitors, ma'am. I'll take the risk. Miss Fenchurch will be cross with me. But she'll be even crosser if I come back without fresh milk. So do we have a deal? Aye. Bring me some milk and I'll take you to his lordship. Thank you. But hopefully Mr. Ambrose will arrive soon. Okay. Have you been waiting long for Mr. Ambrose? Aye. He should have been here a good two hour ago. He's here every market day, you see. He sells only the freshest milk. Miss Fenchurch swears by it. I hope Miss Fortune hasn't befallen him on his way here. I'm sure he will turn up. Oh, I hope so. Are you familiar with Hobbs Barrow? What's that? Never mind. What do you make of these stones? Oh, gives me the creeps. Why? Dunno. Just a feeling. Okay, so clearly the stones are evil. We should throw them in the lake, see if they skip, call it a day, hop on a train, peace out, the end. Anywho. Who is Miss Fenchurch? His lordship's housekeeper. I'll let you know if I find some fresh milk. Thank you, ma'am. But tell me if you see Mr. Ambrose, won't you? I will. Okay, so we need to get some milk. Let's talk to this <gasps> pie seller. Well, hello, sir. He's selling an assortment of greasy meat pies and scotch eggs. I would like a pie. Can I interest you in a pie? Finest mutton in all the county. Two pence each. No, thank you. You're missing out. Yeah, we are missing out. Also, we don't have money. Damn it. Sacks of apples and cabbages. They've all seen better days. Oh, apples. I know a horse that would like an apple. Uh, let's talk to the seller. A jolly looking fellow. He'd make a fine snake oil salesman. Good day. Freshly picked apples, miss. Would you like to try one on the house like? Uh, yes, I'll take it. I mean, hopefully she doesn't eat it, because I know the horse will eat it, but we'll take it. Yes, please. Here you are, miss. The apple looks somewhat rotten. It's riddled with holes. Mutton pies! Hmm, maybe the horse won't eat it. Uh, let's talk to meat, herbs, veggies, tins. Let's look at let's look at the meat or veggies. Various chards and beets. She is selling various herbs, some familiar looking, some not. Uh, the meats. A decent selection of cuts and sausages. Tins of corned beef. Ghastly. You know, I haven't tried corned beef. I, unless I have, I can't remember. At, th at this time, I cannot remember. I've tried a variety of foods over my lifetime. I think I have. Anywho, tacos are great. Uh, produce. The box is full of various sprouts and onions. Nothing particularly tempting. Uh, we should talk to him again quickly. Good day. How did you like your apple? I'm afraid it is rather rotten, sir. Hey, up. That slander, that is. Don't you be going around telling folk I'm handing out rotten apples. Okay, so I think we'll be giving the horse a lot of apples. Uh, but we'll talk to this woman. Good day. Fresh produce. Oh, from the top. What have you got for sale? I'm selling meat, vegetables, and all sorts of herbs and things. You're welcome to have a gander. I'll be sure to browse. Do you have any milk for sale? Not today, sorry. Goodbye. Ta-ra, miss. Okay, so let's see if we can give the apple to the horse. Hello. Uh, hey, girl. Would you like an apple? She is completely indifferent. Perhaps the apple is too spoiled for her liking. Yeah, I kind of figured. Uh, I still have it, though. Um, uh, hmm. Hmm. What to do? Maybe I need to talk to him again? 
sacks of apples and cabbages. They've all seen better days. Good day. Freshly picked apples, miss. Selling them at a steal. Would miss like to buy some? No, thank you. Okay, so I can't buy any apples. Um, so I guess I need to find the milk. Or the gentleman selling the milk. Good day. Hey, oh. Oh, oh. We can talk about milk. Let's talk to the blacksmith about the milk. Do you have any fresh milk going spare? I'm a blacksmith, not a cattle farmer. Quite. Thanks for your time. Hi. Speak to you later. Yes. Yay references. Anywho. Ah, shoot. Uh, let's head to the church. I don't think anything's happening in the church. No. But we need to go find the milk. Uh, so let's go. I get this feeling if we get deal with the milk part of it, we maybe will get our apple. Oh, hey, he's gone. Hopefully he finishes painting his doodle. His creepy painting that was in purple that was not suspicious at all in regards to the color purple. Just, just saying. Um, nope. Nope, no one here. Uh, maybe we'll check. Uh, we'll go far right. Um, like if we're heading out of town by foot going right, if that makes sense. Um, I know there's that pathway past the inn. The produce. Oh, nope. I don't, want, I don't want any produce. I don't know what to do with the rotten apple. But, yeah. I'll figure that one out, unless I'm supposed to, like... I certainly don't wish to touch it. No! Oh. oh, poop. <laughs> Fresh and steamy. Delightful. I should leave a horse to be the culprit. Oh, and then, oh my god, the horse is there. That kind of subtle hint. Okay, let's go this way. Let's see if we can find the... Wait a second. That tree looks like it has stuff on it. The road disappears over the horizon. I see nothing but moorland. Okay, nope. Nope, can't grab anything from that. Um, hmm. Maybe let's go north where that one post office... I wouldn't say post office, but guy who stores the mail is who hasn't hasn't shown up ever since uh of course he's not here um so nothing here where else could we go i guess we'll head to the train actually nope take that back uh let's head this way let's go up here and up here Uh, no. I guess I'm trying to find the guy with the milk. Let's try over here. If not, um, it may be the hole I have to do stuff before he magically appears. And I think the thing I need to do... The uh, the thing I'm going to have to do is get treats for the horse. That's the only thing I can think of. I've no No, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. So he's not here. Okay. Well, I think this is a good place to wrap it up here, guys. Um, I still have some couple areas that have come to mind of where he could be, because it's still the train tracks. Or not train tracks, but the train station. And that area, I have to go and look. Um... And if he's not there, then I don't know where he would be. And I feel like we'd have to deal with the horse. Um, but anywho, anywho, anywho. Thank you guys so much for watching. Greatly appreciate it. This is an episode with a lot of quinky dinks. Um, same shameless plugs. As, as usual, the shameless plugs. Uh, like, comment. Uh, let me, I don't know. Let me know if you've had tacos, because tacos are great. <laughs> like, comment, subscribe. 
check out my other Let's Plays. Also, check out my Twitch channel. I stream when I have the chance. Basically, when husband can take care of the potato so I can stream for a couple hours, that kind of shindig. And yeah, that's all from me today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. You guys have a good morning, a good evening, a good night, and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye.